Hello and welcome to our truth series. So today I'm by myself because even though my sister and I are twins, we do still have very unique um, journeys here. So this particular subject that I'm going to talk about, uh, you read it I'm sure, so the divine masculine and divine uh, feminine energies is something that I have been personally dealing with, you know, pondering over for quite a long time. And um, now that I feel like I got a little more clarity about the whole thing, I would love to share my views with you. All um, with the goal of inspiration, inspiring you and empowering you if it so resonates. Hmm. So first of all, I want to say that the um, divine masculine and divine feminine energies are energies that every human being holds within within them. So these are two um, complementing energies um, that are, from my understanding now, very, very human. <laughs> and um, what I see is the manipulation uh, that happened with those energies is that they were made gender specific and with that it weakened um, it weakened us as humans because um, out of balance they become these two energies become quite distorted and aside from having um, uh, aside from having experienced this uh, separation that they made gender specific it, there's also a, a huge suppression of the feminine energy that happened and um, you know we can see that um, when we look back at the suppression of the feminines in general the the women right uh, but it's I'm, I'm looking at all of this um, from an energetic point of view and in order to follow me please do not do not think that I'm talking about men and women here, even though uh, they they started we, we as human beings maybe embodied them um, because they were made gender specific. Um, but really, this, these energies are within all of us, and if we can, if if we as women can embrace our masculine energies and men can embrace their feminine energies, uh, we become whole again. That is my understanding of it, and. Yeah, so, um, so I want to say these energies are, to me, they're like I said, they're they're superhuman. They're just like very normal uh, for a human. In in a way, it's like taking a breath. It's uh, it's the in and out, um, like taking a breath, and or the in and out of sexual intercourse, um, or the the expansion and the contraction of. Um, uh, you know when giving birth or or the heartbeat yes so there's the expen expensive energy and the contractive energy um, the way I see it is that the um, expansive energy this opening up is the feminine energy and the contraction is the masculine energy which is necessary to experience the I am so from my understanding now the contraction the I am is a masculine energy. So that already would say like we all have it, right? This is in, uh, this is connected to the ego and for that necessary to experience oneself. Um, but because it has been so distorted, I did in the past record a video, which I named the ego is the enemy because in this world that was so um, uh, ruled by this masculine energy, um, the ego was in the way of, of uh, seeing the expansion. Um, so I made a list actually yesterday. I sat down and I thought um, how I can put this in words, you know, uh, and I'm going to share this list that I created at the end of this video. Um, so I want to get into a few things. Let me just have a look so I stay on track. Um, so I find two energies actually that uh, were not that couldn't be split or because they're so necessary uh, or, or so on the core of everything that they're oh I'm I have to stop real quick hang on a second all right so they are there are two energies that I feel like are um, 
unsplittable if you want uh, because they affect us um, on such a core level um, that there are just they are just there for both of us for both sexes for both these energies which is um unconditional love and sexuality these are such huge subjects that they actually um deserve to have their own video and i think i'm gonna i will probably at some point record a video that specifically only talks about love and sexuality i see a lot of distortion about both of them the distortion i see on the um on the unconditional love side is and I call it unconditional love because that's the purest love, um, obviously unconditional. Um, um, actually, that is love itself. I think everything else has a tiny bit of distortion in it um, when it's not unconditional. But um, so when I see the distortion on the feminine side, then I see that there is more love for others than for self. On the masculine side, when I see the distortion there, then I see that there's more love for self than there is for others. Um, when it comes to sexuality, and um, I really thought about that, how to phrase that um, in order to express what I want to express. And I'm, I'm just going to say what I had written on this list since I'm going to show it to you anyway, um, which is that in the on the feminine side, uh, the distortion I see is that... Um, the feminine starts to believe that they are alive to visually and sexually please uh, the masculine energy. And the distortion on the masculine side that I see is that they think that the feminine energy is alive to sexually and visually please them. So, um, yeah, I'm going to record another video. If you have questions, please, please do um, ask me. I'd like to be as clear as I can. Um, with what I'm seeing. I really am trying to get my point across, like I, I, um, to my, my vision, my visual, yeah, my vision or my visuals or whatever, my understanding. Um, okay, so um, what else do I have here? Let's see. <laughs> okay, so for my understanding, the heart is on the feminine, the mind is on the masculine side. Um, I also see that yeah so the everything the all is on the feminine side that's again this expansion right and uh, the one the oneness uh, not the oneness that's the all the one the ego is on the masculine side and a quick throwing that in because um i had a visual uh, for a long time i've been seeing this like sometimes i get pictures too um and they help me understand um the world better if you want so what the picture i saw is this field you know in which we are and then there's this pull it's like a pull down into the field which then becomes me this is the i am the pull into the field so um it's a very maybe maybe that's why they say like the the physical body is the most just the densest body because it has such a heavy it's such a heavy energy um but this is the visual I saw, yeah? So, but this energy here, this pull into the field is the I am. And, but, the, but this is all, all, this is all oneness, yeah? So just to have, in, in order to experience you and me and all of this here and experience this, this world as we know it, I, I need to have, I need to have the I am, right? If I were to only live in the, from the higher perspective, from the feminine side only, if you want, then, uh, then there is really just me, how... God and I, obviously, uh, not not just me, but the field, the field and I, um, and that sounds very lonely, you know. Uh, so again, so again, so this is the masculine energy that's this, this uh, responsible or helping in this I am in this in this experience of the I am, but one can experience both things at the same time, um, the the bigger picture and the I am, and and I think this is exactly where we need where we are going as human beings where uh, I wanted to say where we need to go. Well, from my perspective, it's like, this is where we can be free, yes? When we come back into, um, into these two energies that are, that are here to support us, actually, if we can embrace them. Um, yeah, so simplicity. I also feel like in the simplicity is a feminine energy and the um, complexity is the masculine energy. Um, not to say that the feminine energy is simple, it's really the, uh, the bigger picture again, it's like the black and white is a feminine 
understanding and all the shades of gray is a masculine understanding. And if you see my example of pulling the energy into the field, then uh, there is absolute complexity because here we are in this experience, we are very, very unique. Everybody's very unique, uh, has their own understanding, makeup, you know, uh, um, journey, a, a very unique journey, even if some look similar i don't think that there is anything that is exactly alike so it becomes very complex in that expression right um i uh, i feel also that um in the distortion of the expansion um the distorted energy can easily lose herself so the feminine if the feminine energy is distorted in the expense in the expression of expansion then um, one loses oneself. So it's like, um, actually I had to go through this myself, um, that I, uh, I had, my journey was I had at some point had to come to I, because everything I felt and um, experienced was we. But it's necessary to have the I, right? In order to, uh, to have the strength to be I and um, so, so the distortion is you lose yourself on the feminine side. On the masculine side, the distortion is that you are losing the connection to the bigger picture. So now you're thinking only in the ego sense, and um, and then uh, you don't understand that there is actually, or you don't see it anymore, that that everything is oneness. So both energies again are super important for the bigger, for the for the whole, for the wholeness. Uh, I don't like that word, for the completeness of, uh, of who we are. Um, oh yeah, then I do very strongly feel that intuition again is on the feminine side. Again, uh, intuition is on the feminine side. And did I say what's on the other side? It's actually the intellect. So intuition on the feminine side and intellect on the masculine side. Um, with the distortion of those, it's um, of course, yeah, yeah. If you um, if you have distortion on the feminine side when it comes to intuition, then you can't trust your intuition. Um, you can't trust your your inner voice, your heart. You know, um, when there is distortion on the intellect side, then um, what did I say here? You can't trust anything else but your own understanding. So then you start to think that really you have all the answers and and only you're right if you want so that's the distorted energy of the masculine when it comes to the intellect the next one i have is um the emotion um which is an internal gauge so uh, is a feminine um energy so there's, there's, there's a connection to the heart so it's the connection to the emotion which actually the emotions always tell us um are we aligned within ourselves or not uh, if it feels uh, negative, then it's a um, it's an invitation for change, and if it feels positive, it's it's a um, it's a how can I say that nicely? Well, I was trying to find cool words, but um, when it feels good, you're on the right path. Yeah, yeah. Then you are aligned, and you know, yes. Um, so the emotion is on the feminine side. The rationale. Oh, I just lost this. Oh, I knew I had. The rationale is on the fem is on the masculine side, and my computer just lost me. Uh, I mean, left me. So give me just a second, please. Okay. Um, so I was saying that the on the masculine side is the rational, um, or the rationale. I don't know. Um, which is, I see a little bit of a difference to the intellect. Uh, to me, the rationale is like a given um, rules, rules that we grew up with, uh, known rules. And so when the distortion happens with the emotion, then we become victims to our emotions. Um, we get so drowned in those emotions that we're, you know, become a little powerless. That's a distortion of the feminine energy with, uh, on the emotional level. On the rationale, if the distortion happens on the masculine side, um, on the masculine, with the masculine energy, then um, we cannot trust anything but what we have learned. Rules and regulations that are known to us is the only thing that we can trust there. And uh, well, we, we're drowning in this, you know? So, which to me is a distortion because everything is changing all the time. Um, so, the next one I have on the feminine side is the flexibility and on the masculine side, stability. Um, in the distortion of that, and, and I really like, 
with all of these things, it feels like we, we do need both, right? They're both needed, um, but they're, they're, they're needed in, in a certain balance. So uh, the flexibility, uh, when the energy is distorted, then we have no personal boundaries anymore. It's, it's like the overgiver is a distorted feminine energy. Um, I think uh, we need to have this, this these boundaries uh, to to know where where you know where we need to know where where our comfort zone ends and then uh, and then you know draw lines. Yeah. On the masculine side, it's the um, stability and um, the distorted energy of the, of stability is rigidness or being so rigid that there's no more no more openness for anything else and that is a distorted energy um, again from my perspective um, then there is um, the feminine with yielding it's a very yielding energy and that is giving way to somebody right or something um, and the masculine energy is leading leading so if we have a distortion um, on any of those sides then uh, the 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 yielding energy becomes blindly following. So to me, that's a distorted feminine energy. Um, anybody who just brain off, let's go. That's a feminine, uh, distorted feminine energy, masculine energy. I mean, of course, if you trust, uh, uh, but <laughs> I would say use discernment whom you can trust. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, yielding energy for the feminine and leading energy for the masculine in the distorted um, masculine energy there is the dictator and with that the punishment like my way or oh, no way you know very masculine energy uh, distorted masculine um, because I do really think there's a leading and a yielding um, in the natural sense um, that's a given and it's not give and take. It's give and receive. You know, it's like a. Um, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna also record a different video coming soon about words. Um, this is the other subject aside from the masculine and feminine thing that where I really I had a calling to record. Record, please. Uh, the words also coming soon. Um, and then my last one on here is the nurturing on the feminine and the protective energy. On the masculine they seem to be similar maybe and and of course they're all like you know they're all part of the oneness that we are uh, the nurturing energy if it becomes too much then it becomes controlling this is the mother uh, or the nurturer that doesn't know where to stop it's all like connected again like boundaries uh, who doesn't know where to, where to allow the other energy the whatever the child or um, to express themselves these are the ones that that feel like um, to the end of the child's life, they need to tell them uh, what the what the kid needs to be doing. Um, yeah, so over smothering or whatever, all these is like distorted feminine energy from my understanding. Um, and on the masculine side, when the protective energy uh, becomes distorted, we're not protecting anymore, we are overpowering. Um, yeah, so, so I think that's all I wrote down. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope it made sense. Please let me know if you have questions. And um, actually, I'm personally looking forward to recording these other videos soon. Okay, love to all.